Hello and welcome to another afternoon tea from St John's Vicarage here in Sunny Worksop. We're continuing our journey through the Gospel of John, John 1.14. Have a listen to this, it's a really great verse. So the Word became human and made his home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. The Word, that is Jesus, became one of us, human like us. But unlike me, and I suspect you, was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. Unfailing love and faithfulness means that he can't let us down. Full <laughs> means nothing more in. No bitterness, no resentment, no jealousy. Full of love and faithfulness towards us. You know, the truth is, faithfulness is an expression of love. If you love someone, you're faithful to them. You're not going to let them down. 2 Tim 2.13 says, If we are faithless, he, God, remains faithful. He can't deny himself. Faithfulness is who Jesus is, who God is, who Holy Spirit is. To not be faithful is something that God can't and won't do. He is faithful to his promises. He is faithful to us. I know that I have and do let people down at times. That I don't make that phone call, that I'm not quick enough to say sorry, that I've broken promises to people that I love at times. That I haven't always loved people as I should. And most importantly, I haven't loved God as I should. I haven't been that faithful, loving person that I've wanted to be. But that isn't Jesus. He truly is the faithful one, even when we're faithless. This doesn't mean that we don't try to be more faithful or more loving. That's a big part of what being a Christian is all about, trying to be more like Jesus. But when we fail him, he won't fail us. And if and when we fail him, we can go to him. And because of his faithfulness, he's so quick to forgive. Isn't that a wonderful thing? And it's something that just blows my mind. How faithful and loving God is. And that was proved at the cross, wasn't it? The love, the immense, amazing love that Jesus showed. That Father God showed when Jesus died that horrible death for you and me, proving his faithfulness. And uh, I'm just going to say a prayer now, a prayer of thanks for his faithfulness and then a prayer of for forgiveness for our unfaithfulness. So let's pray. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness to us. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for us. Thank you Holy Spirit for coming to comfort us and guide us. And we pray now that we would be quick to love and pray that we'd be more faithful. Just forgive us our lack of faith and our lack of love. Pray now, again I ask, that we would follow after you with all our hearts. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And it's great because when we go to God and say sorry, he truly does forgive us and we can start afresh again because of what happened at the cross, the sacrifice of Jesus. So thank you for joining me and uh, I hope you... Click on another afternoon tea soon. God bless.